So I got gay married in 2003. To be precise, I got a civil partnership in a little German village, um, Cornelie Munster in North Rhine-Westfalen in Germany. This meant uh, several things that changed my life. First of all, um, my husband is not American, but he is an EU citizen. This meant that immediately within hours of getting our civil partnership, I was legally able to live and work within the EU. At the time, the United Kingdom was in the EU. So when we moved to the United Kingdom in 2011, I could get a job that didn't need to be sponsored for immigration. Made things immensely um, easier and opened up possibilities for me. It gave us all sorts of comforts. For example, next of kin. Can you imagine the person that you love is somehow hurt or needs to go in the hospital or if you're um, giving birth? If you're not legally the next of kin, you will have no access to that person in their moment of need. It has also meant inheritance, insurance, things that we legally have the right to. We moved to India in September and we had gotten married at June 30th. I say married, but the proper term is civil partnership and they extended it to marriage later, including all rights of adoption, everything. This meant that we, money problems, we don't have issue, we can have a joint bank account, everything. But even when we moved to India and we needed visas and so we had to prove our residence, our incomes and all these things were intertwined between us. I hyphenated my last name. So it's quite obvious that we are a gay couple on paper. No possibility of being in the closet. And in India, I couldn't believe it. People seem to say, oh, okay, well, you live together. Oh, okay. Even our landlady um, got to know that we were only using one bedroom in the apartment that we rented from her. Um, she was okay thinking they were we were just buddies. She got to know over the, the seven and a half years that we lived there that we weren't. But um, dear old Mrs. Bazin had no issues with it that she wanted to speak about. At the same time, in my own country, we were being disparaged. We were told that we were pariahs. All the things that you guys say about gay marriage, we're going to destroy the family, all those things. We're being demonized, called pedophiles in the public, uh, kicked out of our own religious communities, and some people, even their families. And we didn't have that. And so that was the last and most important thing that was important about gay marriage is that for it legitimated it. And my, my husband said that even his grandmother who grew up just across from the East German border, well, she said, okay, well, it's legitimate. And in, in, in her mind, it's just, if, if the law says it's okay, it's okay. And she, this woman accepted me, embraced me. I remember one time we visited her, she even pulled that old lady thing where she gave me a hook and stuffed some money in my pocket as she was doing it. It also means that both of our mothers were people to whom we could turn for advice, just like any other couple needs advice and support from people who have been in relationships where we could both turn to our mothers. So gay marriage significantly altered the course of my life, the path of my, the path of my life, and what was most heartening is that my own family, specifically my own cousins, they wanted the same thing for me as they had for themselves. And they, they even advocated within our family, well, why would you want something different for Dieppe than you would want for us? Why should he have, and why would your religious community tell you that you should feel any differently about one nephew versus the other nieces and nephews? My cousins stood by me and that that also strengthened my drive to be me, to accept me, love me. And when you bring self-acceptance and love into a relationship, honey, what does Sade say? Love is stronger than pride. Nothing can come between us. And that has always been my question to the religious conservatives. Do you really and truly want me, us, not to have just a, just a simple emotional security of being legitimate in our communities. Why is that such a threat to you when we're the ones who step up? We're more likely to be double income, no kids. So what happens when parents age or family member needs help? We're the ones who step up. We're the ones who can step up. 
We're the ones who know what it means to make community. We understand that very deeply. You want to have us as your family member. And I'll just say this last thing. You have a gay relative. Whether or not you know it deals with your level of acceptance.